Hey guys, welcome back to my second video. Um, so first video, we got the cart, we stripped it down, and now what I'm looking to do is take some of the other parts that uh, I didn't quite fully disassemble uh, in the teardown process. I'm gonna be stripping those down, checking them out, just like this axle that you guys see in front of you. Uh, I gotta completely take it apart because as you guys can see, there's a lot of surface rust on there that I need to remove. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Day two, working on the cart. Um, so the, car, the reason why you guys didn't see a whole lot, my battery died, so I was charging the, that while being productive, so I worked on the cart and everything. Uh, the chassis itself is off to get a quote for powder coat um, here in the local area. Basically all I did today was I continued working on the uh, front spindles. I completely tore them apart, uh, tore apart the uh, rear axle. I've got to get new bearings. The cassettes for them were good. Uh, later, later down in the series I'm going to be detailing you know, the different parts and what everything is. So. That's it for today. Um, in about a few seconds, hopefully we'll have the chassis back and we're gonna start putting together all the good parts. So see you guys a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, I got the chassis back with me. I did not get it powder coated yet. I was just getting it priced out. So what we're doing is I wanna show you guys the things that you need to look for whenever you buy a cart online and uh, you know, either you're looking at it on photos or you're looking at it in person. Here's some key things to look at. All right, so here we are. All right, guys. So whenever you buy online, try and you know ask them to take a photo of the bottom side of the cart, or if you know you see it in person, uh, ask to see the bottom. Take a look at it. And what you're looking for is not only scratches or you know rust in the chassis itself, but more or less looking for flat spots. Uh, I lucked out on this one. This chassis is fairly round. Um, basically just, you know, over time and with racing, the carts are going to grind on the bottom. So all I have are just a lot of grind marks from where the cart itself just rubbed. And then over time, uh, the bare metal and weather kind of took hold. So these are kind of the, the main things that you're looking for. You, know, you want to make sure the chassis is uh, chassis tubing is round and not flat. All right, guys. So the other thing I want to do today is address this broken section. What I'm going to do is be cleaning up the welds, uh, this whole weld area, and prep it for uh, welding. What you want to do is make sure you have a clean surface before you go ahead and apply the welds. Just a side note: I know I should be using a sanding wheel. Uh, when doing this, but right now all I have is this disc cutter. So when you're doing that, make sure you're making real shallow passes and not going deep. All you want to do is take off like those old booger welds that have now rusted out. Okay. So light passes, hopefully I'll get a sanding wheel here probably today or tomorrow, and then we can finish it up and you know, make sure it's proper. All right guys, so as you can see, I went through and completely cut apart the um, seat strut from the chassis where it originally broke. Um, so now what I'm going to be doing is cleaning up all around this area and making sure that uh, I have a clean surface and I will hopefully, as long as I get the part, we'll be doing this the right way with a sanding disc and not a cutting disc. All right. Hey guys, cart update. So, cart is being welded right now. Uh, from there, it's gonna go to powder coat. Once it comes back, we're gonna start assembling. I've got bearings on the way, so we can put those in the cassette and get the rear, uh, rear end all set up. I still need to get brakes, uh, front hubs, spindles, seat, and a few other odds and ends. Motor's already here, so really we're just waiting for it to come back. From there, we're gonna go full, full send. Uh, plan is still December 1st for the endurance race. 
Um, hopefully it gets done in time. If not, 2019 is right around the corner from there. So next video, coming back from powder and we're gonna start getting this thing put together. Later.